Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm Teresa. I'm in Nigeria, it's based in Marine Korea State. So in today's video, I'll be showing us how I made this ruffles off shoulder top I'm putting on. It's very, very easy and simple to make. So before we jump right into the video, if you are here to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel as my only subscriber. I feel like a thank you to you all. So these are what we'll be needing for the tutorial, scissors, tape rule, the fabric, the Ankara fabric marker. So here I was talking out the measurement. My bust, that was my bust line. That is 9 inches from the shoulder. Yes, 16, 16 inches. That is the waistline and the blouse length. And the um, additional two at the down, the, like the two inches, is for the seam allowance. So I was actually writing it out here, but I don't know if you guys can actually see it clearly to indicate the bust line, the waistline, and the blouse length. So I measured my shoulder. My shoulder is 17 inches divided by two to give us 8.5. So I measured 8.5 there. Then I measure it down to my bust i measured my bust my bust divided by four so if you're doing for yourself your bust whatever you measure divided by four you had one inch so in allowance to it then the waist also divided by four you had one inch allowance to that too as you can see then for the down part the blast line i use my hips measurement my hips measurement divided by four plus one inches so we connect it all together as you can see connect all the dots all the points together from the shoulder i created the, the ammo then i connect it from the boss point to the waistline then to the hip line so that's it so after doing that since it's an off shoulder, I measured four inches. You can measure whatever it is you want to measure. It depends on how off you want the top to be. You can minus five, you can minus six, but for mine I did it minus four inches. So I minus four inches. So after doing that, I cut it out. So this piece here is for the front. This is the front piece. So that is what you will be needing to cut the back. After cutting the front, you don't need to do any measurement again at the back. You just place this piece on another piece to cut it. I mind this cloth was on fold. So I cut it out here. That's the armhole. So yeah, I'm placing the one we just cut right now in the front piece. I place it on another folded fabric to cut the back. Because it's a free top, my measurement, I added some little inches to it. Maybe like quarter inch to it to make it free since there won't be a zipper attached to it so it has to be easy and very comfortable to put on so i already did that when i calculated it so i used the front piece we just got the other time now to cut the back piece So now this is the front and the back. 
one for the front and one for the back part so I put them right side facing right side together you can see that so it's that simple what's next now is to cut the ruffles so for my ruffles my round shoulder measurement is 43 so I multiply that by 2 so that that is I cut 43 for the front and 43 then the length is um eight and a half inches you can make your seven you can make it nine depend on how long you want the ruffles to be so after doing that the cloth is unfolded so i measure for the three because of the sewing allowance i measure for the three in width that the length is um eight and a half inches you can make your seven inches like i said earlier you can make it nine inches I want mine to be short so that's why I made it um eight and a half inches so after getting the accurate measurement I cut it out So this is it. I cut it out. So that is it. We have the ruffle. Since it's on fold, I have to divide it into two. One piece for the front and the other piece for the back. So now the sides. I join them together at the side. So it's here, this side and the other side too. So this is it after connecting it, after joining it, and the edges have so the edges I've joined the top, I've um so it at the down part. I joined the side with my measurements as you can see, I've joined them together. So now it's time to attach the ruffles to the top. So just make sure you get the middle part of the ruffles and the middle part of the top and make sure you connect it together at the middle before sewing it around. So it, the sides will be equal. So that's what I did there now. I've already notched the ruffles and I've notched the top and I use a pin to um, pin it together. it together so after doing that now I'll sew it round at the up mind you we are using an elastic to sew it round to insert it rather at the up part so I'll sew it I think I use on one and a half inches or two inches to be on the table side for the elastic to pass through it easily so you can see the way I folded it, so that's where you fold it like that. So it's round. So that's the elastic. The elastic I have here is um 32 inches so my uh, run shoulder measurement was 42 inches so I minus 10 from me to give me 32 inches so I started and sew it around so after sewing after creating the space for the elastic to pass through I'll use a safety pin I use a safety pin to pass the elastic around the ruffles like that 
So after passing that. So down, guys, that's it. You can see. You can see it. You can see how lovely it is. So I hope you make your soon. I want to see them. <laughs> Please make them tag me on Facebook, tag me on Instagram. I want to see them. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. So to my next one, stay safe and remain blessed.